for our Psychedelic Series, today we have Mr. James Lantier. He's the CEO of Mindset Pharma. How are you, James? It's good to see you. I'm great, Dwayne. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. So can you give us a bit of a brief background on Mindset Pharma? So, so Mindset Pharma is a drug development and discovery business um, that is focused on what we believe is um, r- really the, the most valuable um, and will be the fastest growing space, uh, we believe, in, in, in the, the whole psychedelic market. Um, and, and that's in developing new psychedelic drugs. Um, so we were really founded to, to try to apply um, modern day drug discovery, science, uh, rational drug design to this class of, of substances uh, classic psychedelic drugs that have shown uh, an incredible promise in treating um, mental illnesses and and uh, and neuropsychiatric uh, afflictions, things like depression, things like PTSD. Um, but really, the the, the 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 key there is that m- these drugs, for the most part, are um, are are in the public domain, and so our goal really was to try to to apply. Um, new drug design principles to try to uh, create something better. And what's really key from a business standpoint is, is also to create something that, that, uh, that is patentable and, and where you could secure you know, stronger intellectual um, property rights. So Mindset has now uh, built out a, a portfolio of new drugs that we're advancing um, very rapidly through, through, um, through our, our preclinical development phases. Um, the company really to date has been mainly uh, funded by, by the founders, including the scientific team. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're now moving towards a, a public listing uh, on the CSE. Speaking about the uh, psychedelic industry here, can you give us a better understanding of how the psychedelics industry has evolved over the last few years? Absolutely. It's, it's, evolved, um, it's evolved very rapidly and, it, and it's a really fascinating uh, evolution Psychedelic drugs, if you go back in time, actually, um, really were, were used for therapy. Um, but from about the 1970s until, you know, really the last couple of years, um, the drugs were, were banned and were uh, what they call scheduled. So you couldn't use them for any reason. Um, what we're now seeing, um, and this is really born out of the fact that there is such a, a mental health crisis and um, and uh, you know, modern pharmaceutical companies really haven't done a great job of coming up with new innovations to, to treat mental illnesses, um, is that researchers and scientists have gone back to, to these, these drugs that were previously banned and have started to, to generate some pretty incredible evidence um, that these drugs do a really good job of treating uh, mental illnesses and, and mental health uh, afflictions. And so now um, the regulatory pendulum has swung all the way back and, uh, and regulators, in fact, are, are embracing psychedelic drugs as a, as a, as a solution to, to, the, to the mental health crisis. And so we're probably only at this point um, a year or two away from, um, from you know, full regulatory acceptance of, of most classic psychedelics in a medical context. And as these regulations open up, uh, what would you say are the key opportunities uh, within the psychedelics industry? Yeah, so we believe by far the the biggest opportunity is is in uh, designing uh, and creating new psychedelic drugs that that um, that still retain these properties of the class, same classic psychedelic drugs, but are optimized to work as pharmaceutical drugs. So fewer side effects. Um, more predictable, um, just better, better engineered to work as pharmaceutical drugs. That is the single biggest opportunity in the psychedelic market um, because A, there's a, an opportunity to improve the drugs and, and B, um, there's an opportunity to create new drugs that actually will enjoy much stronger intellectual property rights. And, and we believe that uh, we're in the leadership group as far as uh, designing new uh, next generation drugs, and and we can see that the, that the market is really pretty interested in um, in what we're developing and uh, 
and in, and in getting access to, to new drugs because it's only with new drugs that, that really will you see uh, you know, big pharma come into the space um, and, uh, and an actual business be built around this uh, psychedelic space. And as you build your business, uh, what would you say are the three, well, the top three milestones that Mindset's achieved thus far? And you know, how do you see um, your company evolving? What's the strategy moving forward? We've hit a number of milestones in a, in a very short period of time from, from filing uh, multiple patents on new drugs, new processes, to then generating evidence that those uh, drugs work in a lab environment. We're now, we've now moved into um, our animal testing program, um, and that's going to last us about uh, about six or seven months. We're going to be generating some more evidence that that these compounds work, getting down to to some lead compounds that um, we'll, we can take forward into into clinical or you know human trials. Um, those are some some real milestones and, and value inflection points we think in in kind of the the life cycle um, you know of, of the company. In addition to that. Um, our scientists, uh, as I said uh, before, really they, they they're they're continuing to apply what we've learned from this first two families of drugs um, to their their development efforts. So we have uh, we have a couple of additional uh, inventions around new drugs and new synthesis processes that we'll be filing patents on in the next couple of months as we seek to really build out this. You know, broad portfolio of of intellectual property that we think is going to grow with with value as as the space uh, expands and grows.